Today with Sharpachi, an amazing recipe. We're gonna make a delicious tamarind concentrate from tamarind paste. But this tamarind paste has all the seeds and I'm gonna teach you how to make a delicious sauce from this that we're gonna use to serve with cheese, other ones with pork ribs, some of it with some amazing and delicious dressings. Come, let's learn all about tamarind and how to make your perfect tamarind concentrate. Shepachi. So these are the type of tamarind pulps that I use. Ones that come with seeds. We're gonna open them up and place them in a pot. Check it out, the seeds are full of flavor. It's all right in there. So we're gonna put the pulp there and we're gonna cover it with water. We are gonna add three cups of water, help it out with a fork so you start separating those seeds. You can actually do that before you start bringing it to a boil. Once it comes to a hard boil, reduce the heat and simmer it for 25 minutes. Turn it off and set it aside until it cools off. Some of the seeds have lost almost all of the pulp to our concentrate. Some haven't completely. This is fine. If you think there's still too much pulp on the seeds, you can boil them for about five minutes more. Check it out after it's completely cool, how it has thickened and even the color has changed. It's already thickened and perfectly ready for those seeds to be removed. If you have a tomato pulper, it, this works great. Otherwise, just a spoon or a fork and then your hands, everything helps to get this pulp out and try to use the sieve or colander with the largest holes. This is gonna be fast forward about 10 minutes, but once you've gone through this, you're done. Check it out, it's an amazing tamarind pulp that you can use for many recipes. It's beautiful. You can freeze it right now, you can refrigerate it, or you can use it. We're gonna use all the seeds that are left over and add some extra water because I'm gonna use these to cook some ribs. And you can use this to make juice. Tamarind juice is delicious. You sweeten it with a little honey, maybe add some ginger, and it is absolutely divine. Now from this pulp, we're gonna get approximately three cups of sauce, concentrated tamarind sauce. It depends on how much water you added at the beginning and it's not something that has to be perfectly exact. Check it out, it's beautiful, I store it. We can make ribs or some sauces for beautiful brie cheese and other foods. Now we're gonna make a barbecue sauce for those beautiful ribs. And I'm using a cup of tamarind pulp to a cup of sugar. And it seems like a lot, but that tamarind pulp is very acid. Now we add a tablespoonful and a half of grated ginger. This one I have it frozen, like I've taught you on other videos. And once you heat it up to melt the sugar, it's done. We're gonna add some spices to it. The spices, you can add them ground. I have a whole here for the video. We have some star anise, some white peppercorns because we want it to be strong and spicy, and a cardamom seed. For a more subtle spice flavor, you leave the seeds whole like I have. And as the sauce cools, it absorbs them. If you want it a bold and spicy taste, go ahead and grind them before adding them. So we get about a quarter and a cup of tamarind barbecue sauce from this recipe. It keeps refrigerated for two to three weeks.
Now we're gonna make our herbal seasoning, our dry rub for our ribs. And I added a tablespoonful of herbs down there, a tablespoonful of our salt, and three tablespoons of coconut sugar. And now I'm gonna add two extra tablespoons of my dry herbs, which I added at the beginning. And these ones have thyme, oregano, lemongrass, and rosemary. This is a mix of everything I have at home. First, we're gonna rub a tablespoon of sesame oil on each one of the racks. This is gonna give it a particularly good taste with the tamarind. Then, we add some of the seasonings on top of each one of the rib racks. Fill it up with lots of seasonings because these rib racks are very thick and they feed about six to eight people. Put them one on top of the other so you can season them on both sides. Turn them into wheels and place them in the pot of a pressure cooker or an Instapot. Now we're ready to store them overnight or cook them. Flavor will be more intense if you store them. We're gonna add that tamarind juice that we had left over from cooking the pulp. Check it out, it's beautiful. We close it and 50 minutes later, we have tender to the bone ribs. Absolutely delicious. Check them out, sometimes they fall apart, but if you wait until they're a little cooler, they stay together. This is because they are so, so tender. Now, we're gonna put them in a baking pan and we're gonna add some of the delicious barbecue sauce that we did Look at this, it is so tender, oh my god, I could eat them right then and there. If you want to remove the fat from this cooking liquid, which you can use for any stock, for making rice or anything else, just use one of these cups, remove the fat, and you're ready to go. Now. We're gonna add our barbecue sauce to our ribs. You can put them in the oven or on the grill. Put your oven at 450 degrees, and once it's very hot, just put your ribs there so that the barbecue sauce darkens up a little bit and reheats your ribs. You're ready to go. It can be five minutes. Check out this brie with a delicious tamarind sauce our ribs. Enjoy Shepachi, delicious food, amazing food. Shepachi.